I'm Kara. Um, I'm from Los Angeles. I'm a theater management major. Um, I want to work on Broadway eventually. I like to paint and draw and sculpt, all the things. There's always been art happening around my house um, since I can remember. There's like a room in my house that's dedicated to art supplies. A little messy and crazy, but <laughs> it's nice to have like a place where you can like just pick up like a scrap of fabric and like throw it into something. My, my sister went to school for art, so I, I always looked up to her in, in a lot of ways, so I, I started doing art on my own. Did a lot of sewing classes growing up, a lot of um, art classes, um, and my parents like really created an environment that fostered um, creativity, and um, I just never stopped. I would say I'm an artist because I don't do the business like necessarily to make money. Um, I do it to create my art, and if people like the art enough, then they'll buy it. Obviously, like I have to do certain certain things in order to, to sell the stuff. So yeah, I am an artistic entrepreneur. I started Ungrateful Art um, just based off of this drawing that I I did um, during quarantine. I feel like a lot of us were feeling very like bummy and down and bleh. And, and there was something that was said to me that was like, you don't understand how much um, I do for you. Um, and I was like, oh, so I'm, I'm ungrateful. Like I was in my head, like gears turning. I was like, what am I doing wrong to like make people think this way? So I made an art piece based off of that. Um, and it's these people with these mushrooms coming out of, of, out of their heads. And I call them bad thought mushroom people, bad thought fungi people. Um, and so there were other, other bad words like, um, mean and unkind, stuff like that. So I, I showed it to my friends and they were like, you should, like pointed at the ungrateful one and they were like, you should make a shirt, like in a clothing company based off of this. So it started that I was gonna do clothing. I found um, clay underneath my bed that had been sitting there for a really long time and I started like creating and um, showed it to my mom and she was like, you could sell this. So now these like two groups of people are telling me you could sell your art. Um, so that's how it started. Now it's like, it's similar to how the original art was created. Things just fly into my head. Um, if I'm having like a really shitty day, sometimes like a line will come into my head and I'll, I'll draw something based off of that line. Or like if I see colors, then that's how the earrings get created, which is like fall is, <laughs> is crazy right now because you can look at it and there's so many different options. But I don't, I don't start with a design ever. Um, it's completely off the cuff, which is like how I like to live my entire life. <laughs> when I am actually at like the table designing and doing stuff, I, I just look at the box of clay that's in front of me um, and think like, oh, how would these colors combine together? And then my hands just start creating. I use polymer clay. I use like a, diff a bunch of different tools to, to roll it out. Um, a thing like that kind of looks like a pasta roller. Um, <laughs> I use um, like knives and, and cutters, like kind of like what you would use for cookies. It's hard to put your work out there and get feedback on it. But the most important thing is being confident in the work that you're creating. Um, because once you're confident in the work that you're creating, then people will like it too. I feel like artists are already like super, super critical of themselves. And so hearing from anybody else that maybe something's a little off or um, that they, they wouldn't want to, I guess, wear your artwork or buy your artwork is like a little disheartening. I, I love what I create and the people who love what I create um, support me and buy it too. represents where I am in that moment in time. If I'm like really happy, I feel like different colors will be used. If I'm feeling down, then it might be like a more chaotic piece. And so, yeah, I mean, I feel like it is a piece of myself, truly. It's all me, it's all what's in my head. Um, sometimes I'll ask people like, what do you wanna see? Um, but they give me like very generic answers. Um, <laughs> and so I kind of just like, create based off of that. But again, I'm not like doing it necessarily 
for them. I'm doing it to create my own artwork. Start sooner. I wish I started sooner for sure. I think going back to the like being super critical of your own artwork, I just was too critical of my own artwork for way too long. I, I was talking to my dad about this yesterday. It was like, he was like, I'm so proud of you, Kara. Like, cause my dad does this kind of stuff. And he's like, I'm so, I'm so proud of, um, of what you did. And I was like, so many people I know who started projects during quarantine just stopped. Like as soon as school started, they stopped. Which was like cool, like it served its purpose during that time. But I mean, and I think that if I did this and it wasn't well received, I probably would have done the same thing. But <laughs> I put it out there and it was so well received. And like, I think that kept me going. And I'm, I'm super, I'm super lucky for that. I want to like definitely create more t-shirts, um, I want to do stickers. People were talking about necklaces so maybe that will be coming soon. But I guess as many, as many things as I can put my artwork on, I, I will. I definitely want to expand my audience. Yeah, I think that's, that's the vision, that's the vision. <laughs> we all gotta have a side hustle, you know? <laughs> Um, I definitely, I mean, I want to work in the entertainment industry, but I think that just shows like how creative I am all around. I support artwork in any capacity. And since I'm, I'm going more into like the management producing side of theater, this gives me an outlet to, to actually create and do artwork. What advice would I give? Um, I'd say like, don't hide your artwork away. Show it to as many people as you can. And, and the world, somewhere, someone in the world will love, love what you're doing.